Oh, hi. Hello, fellow traveler. Oh, you're a monster keeper, are you? How many champions have you bested so far? Three, not bad. Me? I have some monsters of my own, all right, but I don't mess with champion monsters. I'm just a wanderer exploring the different regions of the sanctuary. Sometimes I find some treasure. Tell you what, you keep doing the good work. These crystal shards will come in handy when you're deep in some dungeon. These crystal shards are special items. You can use them to return to the teleporter stone and the keeper's stronghold at once. Very well then. I wish you all the best on your adventure. Can I buy more? Okay, so I don't think I have a single lightning anything. I'm assuming rock. Is that not rock? Because it's not a fire orb. Oh, ground switches. There's a difference between a... a Safety brib. Okay, so we got a weird skeleton. It's level 10. Uh, interesting. It does fire damage. It's strong against physical and death. This might get dicey. No, we actually, we do have some magic damage here. It's not my strong suit though. First time I've run into an enemy that's resistant to magic versus, oh, well, we'll be okay. Yeah, I do plenty of damage to it. Oh, boy. Oh, freaking boy. Biscuits hurts. I might have to heal or something. Physical, 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 physical burn. We don't have a whole lot of magic to sling here. Okay, so items... Okay, I still have potions. But yeah, he's got a hefty resistance to everything I'm slinging at him. I'm probably still going to kill him. But, eh. Okay. Yeah, he, wow, his resistance really does make a pretty... Decent dent in what I can do to him. Oh, well. I'm just gonna farm that combo multiplier, even if it's not the most powerful. Uh, let's see. And keep igniting? Keep igniting. The yeah, Inch Noodle's shield break would be good here. Yep. Yeah, this, this would have been a, a better combo. The problem is, I just don't have the equipment to sustain multiple monsters at once, and I can't, um... Uh, let's see. I can't change equipment in the uh, selection screen. I think. Uh, he's probably going to die if I leave him like this. Can't you swap monsters? I can before battle, but I can't swap their gear, which is my issue. Because if I could switch their equipment around, all would be solved. Thank you, Blaze of Ice, for the 11-month resub. Renewing these is a uh, pain on mobile. 
Yeah, I apologize for that. I'm always kind of surprised that Twitch doesn't make it uh, ease of use easier. Okay, he's almost dead. We'll have to we'll have to refight this guy in the arena at some point when I feel like it. I'm mainly just concerned with beating him currently. And beat him I did. Doesn't mean we want might want to spec into a regen perk though. We get a medallion. Mana 15, crit damage 10%, mana regen. Also grapes. Oh right, because I haven't I haven't even fed Yaoi yet. Let's see, I don't think I have any more corn. I'll see if I can go buy some more instead. Uh, let's see. We've got a teleportation point right here. We're just gonna head for that teleportation point to hope. We can buy some more corn. Let's see, I guess Odin, seeing as you're hanging out and you you know things. Uh, do you know if you can actually get any of the other starters while, uh, through like regular play, or no? Okay, so unfortunately, can't get any more. Nope, <sighs> shame. So what do we do? Why is burn debuff? Whenever an enemy takes burn, takes damage, 3% of the monster's max health, so that'd be an extra 12. That might not be terrible. I'm gonna get regen though. Just in the off chance that things go bad. The one you have is by far one of the better starters. I was just thinking of the, uh... The bird starter might be better. If only by a little bit. Heroism would be amazing. But let's get this one first. Uh, let's see. Cause I, I'm at least gonna satisfy my, my grumpitude here. I want to take a look at this guy. Bird starts strong, gets weaker later. Maybe? My main thing with the, uh, the bird that I was interested in is very specifically Energize and Thunderstorm, which synergize really freaking well. Because, oh, he doesn't have as many crit bonus abilities in here. Uh, but effectively, what what I could do is effectively, shock debuff makes them take an, uh, an additional, oh, it's only a 50% additional damage hit. Okay, so that's actually, that's about the same thing. Never mind. It still would synergize a little bit better with my current build, which is aura. Uh, monsters in the party recover 15% of max health when they attack a shocked enemy. Like... That would be some real good healing with the uh, the rest of the team. And also we get a lot of hits off. But no, it's not as amazing as I thought it was. I thought it was you do 50% extra, extra damage to, uh, to shocked enemies. And I was like, oh, that'd be amazing. But no, I'll probably stay satisfied with what I've currently got. Okay. Let's see, so we do have grapes. I'm gonna chuck it at her, him. And we have a couple of potatoes. Okay. So that makes Powie even powier. What do you have? Should probably buy like a handful of potions. Just because I was actually squandering them all. So is your current uh, bonus aura, aura, aura? Yeah, I mean, it's my current build, but yes, absolutely.
So we can get a hide two and a bandana two. What do, what do I have for equipment? Let's work on him first. So we don't have a cape plus two. We have a feather plus two. What's the bracelet plus two do? Defense and mana, no. Belt might not be a terrible idea, but probably not on this guy. So we want to get potentially two crit rings. Because I don't think we need the bandanas as much. And I'm out of money. What can I what can I sell? Because I've gotta have loads of garbage that I don't need. Let's see. Apples. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use nearly as many apples. Crystal shards are good, I wanna hold on to those. Potion, smoke bombs, phoenix steers. I want to hold on to those. Those might be useful. So the low tier. I know I could upgrade some of these, but I don't think it'd be worth it. I'm going to hold on to the sticks, if only because I can. Medallion. Medallion was good. Attack magic and crit chance. That's it's actually really good. So it'll hurt my crit chance a little bit, but it makes him a good all-rounder. Powie, we actually want to switch over to being a uh, a proper all-rounder now that I'm thinking about it. Cestus might not be a bad idea. Let's see. And I don't think we need the defense that bad. Okay. So crit, crit ring twos. I guess I didn't need two crit rings. Uh, let's see. At least we can do the bandana. And did I want to... Oh. They were selling the hide too, but I don't have enough money. Well, do I s sell one of the sustain rings? I have like... I'll sell the mana rings. We'll probably get more of those. Okay, buy a hide. Because yeah, I want... I want Yaoi to be the tankiest freaking sucker I can possibly make him. Not in terms of defense, but just like the more health I can jam on, on the guy, I, the better. Okay, and we'll go up to the blacksmith. I don't think I have a whole lot of iron. I'm assuming we get that in the next zone. I might have a bit. Okay, I need wool. Oh, can you not bring something past... Plus one? I guess not. Okay, I could upgrade this thing. I'm gonna try that. We're gonna we're gonna throw it on the Yaoi. I'm gonna try the plus two Ocarina and see if I can heal really hard. Uh, let's see. And we're gonna go this way. See what's down in that hole. I'm trying to be make him like a Blissey, kind of, sort of. Except for Blissey doesn't just passive heal everybody in the team, if I remember right. I know Blissey's kind of close, but like. Pokemon team comp combos have nothing on this game. And I realize them's fighting words, but like, I don't know. I like Pokemon, I just don't like it that much. Falling area areas aren't implemented yet in the current version of the game. Well, at least this is.
Well, kind of. I'm pretty sure I can't do that. I need a night vision monster ability. I don't think I have any of these. Okay, whatever, we'll come back later. I was hoping there would be a torch in there that I could uh, set a light, seeing as that's, you know, one of the options I sort of have available. That's, you need the wisp monster light things up. Hmm. That's a potential possibility. Yep. I don't think I have any of those. I have Tengu and Monk Eggs, but I actually have never managed to recruit any of those Wisps. Because they actually take some doing to kill. And unfortunately, my combo is not set up. To get them. Okay. Well, I'm going the wrong direction. But I'm already committed to going this way, so let's see what I can do about wrecking these people. Okay. Wander, you're new my... Ah! Wander, you are new... I can word. Wander, you're my new favorite night streamer, so thank you for the content. Thank you for the support. Now enjoy as I beat the snot out of a bunch of monsters for a while. And they get shell in here so we can actually beat the snot out of some other things. Oh, you know what? I bet I know how I could do this. May... May... Eh. I don't know if it'd be worth it. Let's see, do I do claws? If we do claws, let's just hope for the best. Ah, I didn't kill him. Yeah, the problem is these suckers have barriers. Holy crap, they almost killed Brib. Okay, well there goes two of them. I might be able to get this one. Okay, wait till, see, till you see some of the later monsters. I'm looking forward to it. We gotta get his beating up just, just by a little bit. And yeah, we might want to get Brib the, uh... Yeah. We might want to get Brib the... Hmm. Let me get him beating. Do we get... Glory on two random monsters would actually make it worth it. So let's grab... Let's grab Glory Cast for the time being. That 5% extra damage would be kind of nice, but the crit chance and crit damage bonus seems altogether way too worthwhile. Okay. So, I think we want to just get out of here. Check the map while I'm here. I can. There's one room on the right side, but I can't get to that yet anyway. Okay. So I think we want to go to the other side here and actually go like into the dungeon. Yeah, this is, I've never been this direction before. Maybe? Halt! Path leads to the eastern parts of the sanctuary. Stronghold dungeon in the ancient woods. I see you've reached the rank of Keeper Novice. Congratulations, this means you're ready to learn the rules of Keeper Duels. Go to the Duel Trainer in the Keeper's Tower, which is located just up into the east of our teleporter stone. Only then will your initiation as a Keeper Novice be complete. Before that, I cannot let you enter the areas east of the Keeper's Stronghold. Yep, so this is... This is brand spanking newish. At least as far as I've... Uh, as far as I've gone. I'm sure some of you have had access to this for a while. 
Technically, I have. I'm just lazy bones. Dual circle. Hello. Well done. You've beaten enough champion monsters to qualify for keeper dual training. This training will complete your initiation as a keeper novice. It's a step away from... Uh, is a step every fledgling monster keeper takes at some point. However, we need at least two aspiring keepers for this training. I was planning to train you together with Will. You must have met him by now. He's the heir of the Spectral Toad bloodline. He's in the library, just east of the Stronghold's Teleporter Stone. Go get him if you wish to receive my training. Right, I forgot about that. Oh, just east of the Teleporter Stone. I can cardinal direction, so it's down one from where I currently am. I know where I'm going sometimes. I messed it up. Oh, hey, Gash. You've come at just the right moment. I think I found a clue about that masked stranger in the Blue Caves. My familiar had a vague memory of his mask, just as you're familiar, I imagine. So it didn't take me too long to find something out in the archives. But first off, you know all about the Old World, right? No. The Old World's what's outside the Monster Sanctuary. Our current year, 490 AC, means after creation, 490 years ago, there's war between the first Monster Keepers and the Kings of the Old World. The Monster Sanctuary was created during that war, magical barriers separating it from the rest of the world, anyway. Ever since that war 490 years ago, the humans of the Old World have been pursuing ways to explore all of the uncharted regions of the Earth, and learn all of the secrets of nature. They call it science. However, there are still a great number of alchemists in many countries of the old world during that time. Alchemy is an ever-changing craft. Its results unpredictable and oftentimes dangerous, similar to magic. By 200 AC, alchemy was outlawed in all of the empires of the old world, and even persecuted in some areas. But the oldest order of alchemists remained, and they fled to the monster sanctuary in secret. That's all I found in the archives. In the books here, there's nothing written about what happened after the alchemist came to the sanctuary. That's really odd, don't you think? There's supposed to be more books somewhere in the Stronghold dungeon, which is east of the Keeper's Stronghold. We gotta do the Keeper battle training before we can go there, though. The Keeper battle trainer is in the Keeper's Tower, just above this room. I'll go ahead. Okay. Time to do 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 Hello. I should probably just talk to this guy. Well done. You've beaten enough champions. I should about that. Technically, Will hasn't beaten enough champion monsters yet for his training. However, we've decided to make an exception in this case for two reasons. For one, we need at least two aspiring keepers for this training. So you'd have to wait for Will or another new Keeper to beat enough champion monsters. But, even more importantly, we feared that it might take a long time for Will to achieve that. His parents say he's always got his head in the clouds, and he's just not the type to go adventuring and monster fighting. However, he's a very smart and talented young man. We hope that this training will give him a confidence boost by showing him what his monsters are capable of. But I'm not telling you to hold back on him. Feel free to use this opportunity to test your own skills, too. All right, Will, come on over here. I'll explain the rules of Keeper Dueling to the both of you now. I am the Keeper Duel Trainer Gotham. Gotham? Is Gotham? Gotham. It is my task to teach young Keepers about the rules of Keeper Dueling. For a thousand years or more, humans have settled their disputes by letting their beasts fight against each other. However, only when the Monster Sanctuary was created, the first Monster Keepers established a fixed set of rules for this kind of duel. Firstly, neither Keeper nor Monster is to be seriously injured during a Keeper duel. That should be a given to both of you anyway. But it is customary for me to repeat this rule. In a Keeper duel, each Keeper uses their full team of six monsters. But, as always, a Keeper may not use more than three monsters at once. If a monster gets knocked out, its Keeper may switch in one of the other monsters to their team. The turn order in a Keeper Duel is determined by chance. The Keeper who has the first turn may only use two of their three chosen monsters during the first turn as a drawback. The Keeper who has the second turn can use all three active monsters. The battle proceeds normally from that point on. 
Items are not allowed in Keeper Duels. In addition, you will find that the strength of your monsters and their skills might be a little different from when you use them to fight monsters out in the wild. In a Keeper Duel, all damage, healing, and shielding abilities are half as strong. Once either Keeper has managed to knock out their opponent's team of six monsters, they have won, to the, won the fight. That concludes this theoretical part of the training. Next, you two will face off against each other so that I may see whether you have truly understood the rules. Are you ready for a keeper duel, or would you like to hear the rules one more time? Ready. Um, I think I'm ready too. Let's show them what we're made of. Alright then, young keepers. One of you has to challenge the other to a keeper duel. Alright! Ga gash slash them of the spectral lion bloodline. I challenge you to this keeper duel. In a keeper duel, you can see your opponent's team of six monsters, but neither of you know much... Ne uh, neither of you know... Which the other one will choose for the beginning of battle? Start combat. Well, let's see. So we could do glory cast. We should probably start with glory cast. Because I'm going first, aren't I? And I want these guys to survive pretty much the entire round. Gonna suck with the status effects. Okay, so we probably want to take out the worm first. Do we do power? We do power. Take out his toad. Okay, I will take out his toad. I'm going to try and set them all on fire though. Well, burns a lot of them, so that works. Wow, that toad got scronked. Okay. So I'm gonna hit the... Gonna hit the worm. So we'll have somebody else. And then fire claws. Probably fire claws, because ignite. There it goes. Okay. So they got a lot of shields. And I'm gonna need to maybe heal a bit here. Ow! I might be in trouble. I don't have a team heal. I do have regeneration, but it's a little bit late for that. Let's just hope they don't hit Brib. If they hit Brib, we're going... Oh, they took out... Uh-oh. This is really freaking bad. Can I, like... Well, I screwed myself over because I haven't even uh, built up some of these characters. Like, they're not even using equipment. Which is really stupidly bad. Because, yeah, I'm pretty confident with my regular team of three. And so I almost never would use my team of six. But, uh, yeah, that was a foolhardy venture. I should have started with the uh, regeneration, honestly.
And yeah, that that cat in the back straight up can't even fight. Like I've I've never leveled up any of its perks. If my Yowie had a heal, we'd be okay. What happens when you lose this? Well, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer, or in my case, fairly quick. I mean, luckily, Yaoi is just kind of soloing things, but that's not going to last. Okay, so... Yeah, there he goes. I mean, I'd say we're tied up, but... I'd argue we're probably pretty doomed, because Yowie's going down. I, for having half of my team completely incapacitated, we're actually doing shockingly well. But I'm, I'm turbonered. Because now it's a injured cat. Can I res? Nope. It's an, uh, severely, well, let's see what happens. Keeper Gash slash them as no more monsters in his team and will continue the fight. Uh, to continue the fight, the Keeper's will is the winner. Wow! I can't believe I actually won against Gash, too! Even though he beat the Minotaur. I guess I just had the better strategy. Don't worry, kid. We get stronger and we'll beat, beat them another time. Alright, then you have completed Keeper dual training. You may now proceed to the other areas of the Sanctuary and challenge other monster keepers you encounter. Fighting other monster keepers lets you gain experience points, and each keeper also has a different item reward in store if you beat them. I'll head to the Stronghold Dungeon now. We've got to find those history books. I hope you, you'll you be there too, Gash. I hope this has helped him get braver. You, either way, you should keep an eye on him. Strange things are going on in the Sanctuary nowadays. The number of champion monsters is completely abnormal. By the way, I'll offer keeper dual challenges to you if you wish to test your skills against me. 